हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ ऋषभ पाल वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल द मिलेनियल फिजिसिस्ट इन लास्ट वीडियो आई डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सिंपल हारमोनिक ऑसिलेटर बाई एनालिटिक मैथड एंड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सेकेंड मैथड टू अप्रोच द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सिंपल हारमोनिक ऑसिलेटर एंड दिस अप्रोच इज कॉल्ड ऑपरेटो मैथड और सिंपल हारमोनिक ऑसिलेटर बाई ऑपरेटो मैथड This derivation is a very important for the students who are pursuing their B.Sc and M.Scs. Now I am going to start this video. Now to derive this operator method problem, we know that the Hamiltonian is nothing but the total energy of the system. As in the previous video, I have discussed this expression of total Hamiltonian. That Hamiltonian is equal to p square upon 2m plus half m omega square x square. So, if you don't know about this formula, Check out my previous video on uh, simple harmonic oscillator in description box. Now here in this formula, h is the Hamiltonian equal p square over 2m plus 1 over 2m m omega x cap whole square. In the previous step of it, I multiply m in numerator and uh, as well as in denominator. So here m and m becomes m square. Which uh, uh, combined later that m omega x cap whole square, and the denominator m is uh, here, one over two m. Now the expression becomes Hamiltonian h equal one over two m p cap square plus m omega x cap whole square. Now we have to define two quantum mechanical operator here, which have the names respectively a plus and a minus, where a plus has the value. Of one over under root two h cross m omega, and I p uh, here p is the momentum operator plus m omega x. This is x cap. Uh, it uh, generally defines a um, position. Now the second operator a minus, which is one over two h two uh, h cross m omega under root plus I p plus m omega x. Now, if we have to multiply a minus with a plus. we get the result 1 over 2 h cross m omega here both the under roots were cancel out due to the multiplication now we have left plus ip here p is also momentum plus m omega x and minus ip plus m omega x now in next step 1 over 2 h cross m omega here ip into ip here minus uh, Uh, i uh, i into i gives minus one, and this uh, further minus gives us a positive, so it becomes a p square. When i p is multiply on the m omega x, it becomes i m omega p x minus. When m omega x is multiplied by minus i p, it gives minus i m omega x p. This is both the operator, position operator, and momentum operator, plus. If uh, when multiplied uh, m omega x from the another m omega max x, it gives m omega x whole square. Here in this line, I wrote that when i p is multiplied by m omega x, it gives p uh, operator p and x. But if m omega x is multiplied by i p, it gives reverse that x and p. So uh, I can done this because in uh, further uh, steps. They were considered as a commutator of x and p, where x is momentum and p is uh, p is momentum and x is position operator. Now, in next step we have one over two h cross m omega two m Hamiltonian. This term is like from the equation this equation. If we find the value of h cross two m. So 2m is uh, uh, in multiplied with here, and we left over p square plus m omega x whole square. So here it is the situation. So this entire line is given in equation two. So h cross 2m h 2m uh, equal. P square plus I m omega momentum operator and position. Operator. So this line is replaced with this 2 m h, which is here. 
minus here I am taking I m omega as a common which lets x p minus p x this is the commutator okay now as we know that this position operator and momentum operator the commutator of position operator and momentum operator gives some uncertainty which is considered here as i h cross so I can replace the commutator x p with i h cross so here I done that commutator of x p in last equation is this here this term becomes x p commutator so I can replace in uh, next uh, uh, next line it with uh, minus i h cross okay actually not minus only i h cross so here I replace this term that minus uh, i h cross now the equation becomes 1 over 2 h cross m omega 2 m h plus h m omega i into i is minus 1 and minus into minus which is plus now we over left in this term that h cross m omega which is here now uh, a minus and a plus equal h Hamiltonian actually in last step that in this equation I am taking common 2 m h cross omega so 2 m h cross omega over 2 m h cross omega here when we take 2m h cross omega is common so 2m and h cross omega is in the denominator and in second term h cross omega is uh, out as common so it left only 1 over 2 okay and this term is cancelled now we left with the equation this and now if i take h cross omega common from the uh, uh, from this equation the result is like that this plus half is uh, going against equal uh, this equal to become a minus half which is here minus half and this s cross omega is in the left so this is the equation h cross uh, h, h cap equal h cross omega a minus a plus minus half so similarly when i multiply with uh, uh, the operator a plus and a minus together we found the same result uh, but a slight different of sign difference of sign they are like h upon h cross omega minus half in the previous equation the sign is positive in the current equation the sign is negative now furthermore we see that that h equal h cross omega a plus a minus plus half so this comes as equation 3 now on subtracting the equation 2 and 3 we get a minus a plus which we multiplied previously and now a plus and a minus equal 1 now we have uh, already uh, know that the commutator of uh, a b can be written as a b minus b a so this is the similar form that a minus a plus minus a plus a minus which becomes the commutator of a minus and a plus which gives us one for eigenvalue equation x psi equal e psi this is very popular eigenvalue equation where h is hamiltonian psi is wave function e is energy eigenvalue okay from this if we introduce in equation 3 with our operator a plus and the wave function we have that this is the value of h h omega i plus a minus plus half this entire value is uh, from the previous equation equation 3 and a plus si is here a plus si now if a plus is multiplied by is uh, going into the bracket it becomes a plus is here so a plus a minus a plus plus when a plus is multiplying with half it becomes half a plus and size as it is now in second step when i take a plus as a common in left hand side 
guys this is very important in quantum mechanics that which you uh, multiplying in the bracket from right and which you left in the uh, left out from the bracket in left okay so here when i uh, 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 taking a plus s out it becomes a minus a plus plus half okay so the result uh, becomes h cross omega a plus a my a plus a minus if we reversing the sign of a minus and a plus we combine with this equa equation that the a commutator of a minus a plus minus a minus a plus minus equal one so here if we find the value of a minus a plus a the result is this term is going to here which left a plus a minus plus one equal a minus a plus so this value is written here a plus a minus plus one and plus half is as it is now furthermore h cross omega a cross plus a plus a minus plus half plus one and if we take h cross omega uh, common from this bracket we left that a minus a, a plus a minus plus half plus h cross omega okay actually i want to make this term as h if i multiply h cross omega in this and after that i multiply h cross omega with one so after multiplying the result becomes h cross omega a plus a minus plus half this whole value is uh, h as we know that from the previous equation and if uh, h cross omega is multiplied by 1 it becomes h cross omega and a plus is as it is now a plus this whole value becomes h from the previous equation this is the value and h cross omega is as it is psi is as it is now we know from eigenvalue equation h psi equal e psi so if h psi is here we can replace it by e psi and h cross omega and a plus is as it is okay from eigenvalue h psi equal e psi h is replaced by e and h cross omega and a plus is as it is now our equation becomes h cross uh, h, uh, h cap a plus psi equal e plus h omega a plus operator a plus psi okay this is the uh, graph uh, for the wave function psi 1 now from eigenvalue equation at psi and e psi it is obvious from this expression that each a plus increases the energy by h cross omega by this operator h cross omega so the uh, operator a plus is called the creation operator because it increases the energy by h cross omega every single time and similarly when we do the same process for the operator a minus we have the result that h a minus psi equal e minus h cross omega a minus psi which is the similar as the previous one for the a plus operator now here operator a minus decreases the energy of simple harmonic oscillator by h cross omega it decreases the energy by minus h cross omega so it is called the annihilation operator annihilation operator directly refers to that it decreases the energy of the oscillator by minus h cross omega now both the a plus and a minus operator are uh, known as ladder operator because uh, when we seen from the graph these a plus and a minus are called ladder operator because of the reason that it always increases the energy by half h cross omega with a single step that this step to this step the in increase of h omega is there and from n is equals to 1 to n is equals to 2 there is an increase of h cross omega half h cross omega so by this fact we call the operator a plus or a minus and uh, uh, annihilation and that creation operator respectively the ladder operator now to derive for the lowest energy of the oscillator at ground state we have h psi not equal e psi not h equal h omega a plus a minus plus half 
this is the uh, Hamilton Hamiltonian equation as we discussed previously h cross omega a plus a minus plus half psi naught if we uh, use the eigenvalue equation for this uh, Hamiltonian and introduce the our wave function psi naught the equation becomes psi naught equal e naught psi naught as we know that uh, operator a minus psi naught if we uh, if we negotiate the wave function psi naught from our uh, operator it gives us the result as a zero now h cross omega when we put the value of a a minus operator as zero the equation becomes that uh, this term is going to be zero so the only term left it uh, left is uh, half uh, half psi naught and here e naught psi naught is as it is now we left with the result that e naught is equals to half h cross omega which is called the least energy of the oscillator now this formula is the confirmation that the lowest energy of the harmonic oscillator by the successive application of the creation operator a plus the energy increases every time by h cross omega so the energy of harmonic oscillator is given by e equal n plus half h cross omega this is the same formula which i discussed in my previous video from the analytic method of simple harmonic oscillator this is also called the zero point energy there from analytic method now this is the graph of the harmonic oscillator from this graph we have seen that the internuclear separation and the energy is uh, increased uh, from every uh, uh, values of n to the half h cross omega now sometimes there is a question asked in the examination that define or write the normalized eigenwave uh, function for a simple harmonic oscillator so the eigen uh, eigen function for a simple harmonic oscillator can given as since we know that the solution of schrodinger equation for sho is psi equal h cross uh, uh, j e to the power of minus j square by 2 so the final differential equation for the simple harmonic oscillator is known as the hermite differential equation hermite differential equation actually the uh, this differential equation is the part of the mathematical physics uh, uh, like the chapter uh, is special functions uh, the function f equal h cross j is also known as the hermite polynomial and the normalized eigenfunction for the sho is psi nx equal m omega upon pi h cross whole power 1 by 4 dot 1 over 2 to the power n n factorial under root dot hn here hn is the hermite polynomial which is the function of j as we know e to the power minus j square by 2 now m omega over h cross h cross pi whole power 1 over 1 by 4 and 1 over 2 to the power n n factorial under root is considered as a normalization constant for this equation now some of hermite polynomials are like when we solve the series which are uh, of hermite uh, polynomials it can be expressed as its h naught term is equal to 1 h1 is equal to 2j h2 is equal to 4j square minus 2 and h3 equal to 8j square minus 12j now the normalized wave function graph is like this so this is the uh, graph in which the y axis is considered as the wave function psi x and from x axis the wave function is described so this is the end of my today's lecture on the problem of simple harmonic oscillator by operator method guys if you have any queries regarding this topic so write your queries in the comment box and don't forget to like and subscribe the video thank you so much for watching